They came to bury a father and a friend. He's going to be greatly missed by a lot of people and his family, his kids especially. 22-year-old John Kim holds a photograph of his father, young son Kim, who was shot to death Friday night as he was closing his Scottsdale jewelry store in Papago Plaza. In this private moment, friends make a public plea. If you know anything, if you saw anything, please contact the Scottsdale police. Tuesday morning, Scottsdale police return to the plaza. I'm Officer Goy, Scottsdale Police Department. Hi. They visit with merchants. They leave information about Kim's murder. This is a picture of one of the suspects. If you see anything suspicious, not right. take any action on your own, call us. Scottsdale police plan to increase patrols here at the mall, and the mall plans to beef up security. Now, most merchants we talk to say they feel safe here, but we talked to one woman who says she's moving out. This was the last straw. Sam Tyler owns a hair salon in the mall. We've had two robberies, two attempts, a fire, a bank robbery, and a murder in less than a year. Other merchants report no problems, saying the murder could have happened at most any mall. Young Sun Kim's store is closed today. There are cards and flowers in front. A tribute to more than a businessman, a tribute to a friend. With photographer Justin Finestone, Chris Kabitas, News 15.